I haven't eaten a smoothie bowl in a really long time. To be forward, they've gotten a bit boring. Maybe because I was stuck on all the generic flavors. Strawberry banana, blueberry, acai. That word always gets me, how it's like almost as many syllables as it is letters. Either way, I'm fixing that leak on my roof when the next idea strikes. Either way, it was so hot, I couldn't think of anything more than blending up a smoothie, then taking a couple scoops of it and lathering up my entire body. The smoothie bowl seed was planted a while back by someone in the Nardog community. So thank you, as we are about to bask in the ambience of two of them. Our first hidden veggie smoothie bowl is focused on adding protein and fall flavors. I love fall flavors and I love sweet potato pie. Mm -hmm. So I was actually staring this specific bowl right into that direction. I get it if you don't like sweet potatoes. No, I don't. You could do butternut squash or even pumpkin puree. If you want a great smoothie bowl, the main bulky ingredients need to be frozen. So when using things like pumpkin puree or say I boil the sweet potato, I actually will crush it up and stick it right into some ice cube trays. Once frozen, I'll pack it in one of these reusable bags for easy meal prep. Cut. doesn't make the sound the same. Throughout the ingredients, there's plenty of opportunity to add more protein or adjust the smoothie bowl to your liking. For example, you could use soy milk as a swap and then top the bowl with various kinds of nuts or seeds or even granola to increase the protein value. Or if you wanna go without the soy, you could actually completely omit the silken tofu or swap it out. Add some more sweet potatoes or throw in a plant-based yogurt you're in love with. If you did the whole yogurt, it might be a really expensive smoothie bowl. So maybe, maybe just cut the yogurt in half or something, you know, stretch it a bit. Also, the only cooking we're doing in this recipe is completely optional. As a quick disclaimer, when you make the apples once, your taste buds and stomach make it completely not optional anymore. I actually like to put the apples back on the stove to get them piping hot prior to adding them into the bowl. The downside is that they instantly sink to the bottom of the bowl. But the first upside is when you take a bite. It's cold initially. Then comes this warmth to hot, back to cold kind of thing going on. The second upside is that you now blended sweet potato pie and apple pie together. And it's not even Thanksgiving yet. When making a smoothie, have you ever been taught how to layer your blender? I don't personally follow this method all the time, so this very well may be the reason that sometimes I have like a rogue chunk of fruit just somehow avoiding the blender's vortex, and then later, it's stuck in my straw. Here's the steps. 
if you so choose to accept it. That's a, that's a movie reference. Of course, this includes plant milk, but also things like syrup and extracts. Next in are the powders. Spices, protein powder, that kind of stuff. Then fruits or veggies or just stuff that may not be frozen similar to that category. Examples would be like dates or leafy greens. Now in with the creamy stuff, nut butters, seed butters, yogurts, and then lastly, all the hard ingredients. Frozen, nuts, ice, if you're choosing to use that. Whatever you do, try not to use ice in a smoothie bowl. Once it melts, you, you basically have dirty water. Or you could say a cold soup if you're looking at it more with a silver lining. As for tips for this recipe, if you can get your hands on Moringa powder, do it. It has so many health benefits, similar to sea moss, but not the same health benefits. And honestly, I feel like it's significantly looked over. The taste to me is very similar to cocoa powder, but with like earth tones. Also in any recipe, not just this one, be really careful with ginger. Depending on how much you add, it can go from, hmm, this is good. Oh, you can really taste that. No, no, never again that recipe. This particular smoothie bowl might be my favorite, even more than the last one. And let me tell you why. So this bowl uses multiple veggies and multiple fruits. But why is that good? So when your mom is denying your heaping zucchini offerings, and then you realize it's not just the zucchini, you have various amounts of fruits and veggies that are on the brink of being perfect to eat or compost. You can freeze all of it. And this smoothie helps you clean out your freezer in waves. The other reason is trying to find a anti-inflammatory ice cream is basically a mission for Vin Rains and Tom Cruise, unless you're watching this video then you just found it. These two recipes can be found at my website, makeitdairyfree.com, or you can visit the link in the description. Air hug, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, believe in good. Peace.